Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here and welcome back to Invisible Ink. We're back trying to make ourselves safe from the corporate overlords and today's mission is going to involve heading towards the Plastec Detention Center to hopefully acquire ourselves a new operative. Let's head over there now and see what happens. Detention centers hold high value human assets for interrogation and deprogramming. They may be intercepted invisible agents on site. So hopefully we'll be able to get that. If we're unlucky, rather than getting an agent, we'll just wind up getting somebody we have to rescue, some random corporate person who we can acquire for loot. But hopefully our mission will have a good success and we'll be able to get ourselves a third operative. Because that'll really help out our ability to do things on missions. All right, recon the detention center and get out alive. Hello. Mm, yes, I like this. We have a security guard over here already. Let's get some power from this. Let's make sure we start the fusion so we generate more power. And what is this? This is a demon database. All right. I'll spend two power to activate that hack so we can figure out what's in there. Let's grab you, Sharp, and see what's through this way. Hello. Well, a rough start here. Everything is already pretty heavily guarded, so we're just going to have to deal with things. We have to do a lot of exploring in a hurry, though, so let's get moving. I think we're going to send you right over to here, International. There we go. You found more power for us. Oh, goody. Thank you, International. I greatly appreciate your contributions to our cause. We'll figure out what that demon is, and then we'll go from there. So, let us end the turn. Well, that could have been bad, but thankfully it wasn't. Why is this camera already activating? That's unfortunate. Thankfully, we can hack it already. A validate brings an additional guard under the level. That's not a great thing for us to start with here. We could probably get around this uh, laser wall anyway, so I'm going to try and ignore it if I can. What's in here? Nothing so far. Oh, it's actually nothing. Okay, well that's unfortunate. Let's close the door behind us and go grab whatever's in the safe at the end of the turn. For now, though, we have this demon database already captured, right? This guy's probably going to come back here, but for now, we're going to open the door. Come through the door. Close the door. Come to the next door, and take a peek through. Hello there. It doesn't look like there's anything too fancy in here yet, though. Although there is a purchasing location, that might not be bad. Lots of locked doors is what I'm seeing, and lots of stuff on this side of the facility that we can't currently get to. Hopefully there's good stuff over here we can take advantage of with Sharp, though. We're gonna have to take a look around and see what's what, but I have a feeling we need to be over here. Warning. If we do, this is probably the path we'll be taking, but these two guards are gonna be a problem. Either way, let's end our turn and see what happens. Recaptured. What did that mean? Oh! Did they try and take... Oh, look at that! Every turn, they take over our our items. They took over that camera that we already had control of, and they just took over the demon database that we had control of. That's interesting. I don't like it, but it's interesting. Oh, hello! Hey there, friend! Hi! Alright, well let's just hack this console first. Thanks. We'll break down this. We're gonna scoot over here. Grab you. Grab from the safe. Gives us 140 credits, which isn't great, but again, we'll take what we can get. There's probably a guard in this room right now. He's hidden over there for now, though, so we're just gonna run over this way. Excellent. This guy shouldn't have any way to notice us. Um, are you gonna move there, sir? A modded Mark I. Recaptures one mainframe device per turn in a range of six tiles. He's the one that was doing it. If knocked out, this unit will possess a mainframe device as a demon program. Wow. Okay, let's take a look at him. 
best guard ever? I think so. He's just staring at a wall and he's not planning on moving. Alright, that's pretty funny. I'm okay with that. We're gonna hack the nanofabricator just so we get more information if we want to spend it later. Plus we may need to buy a weapon for our new unit if we get one, so we'll see how this plays out. International, you're gonna end your turn there. That's how he was recapturing our cameras. That makes sense now. He was the one doing it. And he can only recapture the things that are right around here, because that's as close as he is. Just stand right beside him. Loot the safe that's right beside him. And leave him alone, I think. We could try and take him out, but it seems like a really bad idea to me, because we don't actually have any way to keep him under control, really, if you know what I mean. That guy doesn't look like he'll see us if we move. Yeah, it looks like his vision gets cut off right there. So we're going to run through here and close the door. It is getting up in the turn count, though, so we have to be a bit careful here. The longer we wait, the worse things are going to get for us. That camera's back online. We have a guard back in over here again. These guys are still running back and forth. Sharp, since he's watching your exit, you're going to come and check the nanofab. They have another biogenic dart. This is actually a nice one. A really nice one. Ooh. So good. It's a seven turn cooldown, but it's a two armor piercing, two turn knockdown ranged weapon that doesn't run out of battery. Skeletal suspension improves the speed of dragging when carrying by this person. This will also give us our third augment, though. That might be a good thing. It's, it's all of our money again, though. That's the problem. I could get a paralyzer, which is real nice. Knocking enemies out for longer is extremely useful. Oh, I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to just buy this guy all the augments I can find, because he needs to get six to be maxed out, and that means his uh, knockouts are more powerful. Let's give him this. Having somebody who can drag better is probably a good thing. There you go, Sharp. Now your KOs should knock people out for three turns. Yes, they do. That's a good thing. And you still have three more slots for more augmentations. Now I could run all the way over to here with International, get him behind this guy, and then try and knock him out that way. I think what I'm going to do though is I'm just going to put International over here, where he shouldn't notice us anyway, and we should be able to just move through here no problem. Because he is watching the door, so I can't get uh, sharp through, but I can move later. So he's going to go back to that side, that's fine. This guy's going to go back out. More cameras are turning on. Do we know where they are? That one is, but we could ignore that one. Alright, we should be okay here. We're gonna send you, Sharp, over to here, where you are going to take a ambush action, and we are going to get International to come peek through this door for us. Hmm, this looks like a Im potentially important hallway, but we can't get in there because we still have nobody unconscious yet, so we have no key cards. Fair enough. When we knock this guy out, we might send somebody through here. We'll see. Come on back through here, friend. Oh, somebody else in this hallway. Well, that's one guard unconscious, at least. That gets us a bunch more movement. We can steal his pass card, which is lovely. I wonder how far we can drag him now. Oh, wow! Oh, that's so good. We can drag him without losing all of our movement. It just costs normal movement actions, almost. Because he has his 5 AP dragging, or 14 AP not dragging. Okay, no, it's because he has his super ability, but that's still not bad. There's still a lot more movement than he otherwise would have been able to do with a body. Let's bring him over to here. Drop the body. Unlock the door. Peek through the door, you don't see anything. International. We're gonna open the door. 
with sharp. And peek again with sharp. Still don't see anything. International, you're going to run over to here and peek. There he is. I knew we'd find him if we looked. He does move around, though, which makes him a little bit dangerous here. Now, I want to come check this area. But if I have to, I'm going to need to knock him unconscious. Ooh. Camera drones. Consoles. That has a modulate problem on it, though. That could be bad. It is a safe, though, so we're probably going to want to grab it anyway. Grab the power. Let's take a peek at this guy. He is patrolling. I think we're going to have to knock him unconscious. I don't like it. The more unconscious guards we have, the bigger our trouble. I think if I stand here, though, we might be safe. And if not, I can always shoot him if I have to. What? Wow. Okay, that could have gotten much worse. He walked right past us. Wow. Alright. I forgot to peek into this room properly last turn, but I guess I shouldn't complain too much. It's kind of worked out for us. Alright, attack this camera. Doesn't give us much more visibility, but we can tell we can go back around through this way. That is kind of crazy. Alright, well... I guess it's about time we get a move on here, guys, because we still actually know nothing about this map. We don't know where the exit is, we don't know where the agent is. We have to get moving here, otherwise it's gonna end badly for us. So let's get you over to here, International. Aha! Secondary console. Well, I don't have any money, so as much as I'd like to do these things, it really doesn't matter. That steals more of our money, so we really cannot afford to do that. Let's come through here, close the door. Can I get you around into cover where you won't be spotted? There's a good chance he won't spot you if you're standing right here. Which is silly, but he probably won't spot you. He'll walk right past you and not see you. Oh, cover, you wonderful, wonderful, very silly thing. Alright, so we have to head over this way, but I'm also tempted to check over here. So we're going to send International to check out what's going on in this room. Hello, safe room. Mm, I don't like all these security measures here, though. It's nasty business. We're going to go for the one that makes co programs cost more to use, because I think we can get away with that one. You have two AP left. He's going to be coming right to where you are. Alright, camera drone. You're going to go chill out in the corner over here. Do you have a melee attack? Yes, you do. Actually, you can do this. <laughs> Silly though it is, you can just hide on the other side of the door and he won't be able to find you. Perfect. Alright. Don't have much time, but we're going to try and make do with what we got. Let's end our turn here. Perfect. I don't think you would have seen her anyway if she was standing there, but I figured better safe than sorry. Alright, all programs are more expensive, which is fine since we have almost maximum power anyway. I can run all the way over to here, it takes all my AP. Oh, there's another door over here. Oh no. Let's grab this. 140 credits, that's better than nothing. Book it over this way. We don't see anything new over here. I guess we'll just need to explore and see what we see. Oh no, okay, that guard's there. What's up, the camera that's spotting us now? Probably the camera, but every time we take that thing over, it's going to get immediately redetected. So I think we're gonna have to leave that for now. I can open the door and check again. Okay, now I have a good sideline. Thankfully the camera stops here, so we'll be able to get out past it next turn. We need all of our movement to be able to do that. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to get far enough away. This guy's going to be waking up soon. This drone's going to be rebooting soon, which is not good. Hopefully nothing bad happens here. Didn't realize there was another door over here, though. That makes things a bit more dangerous. What was that? Oh, good. He spotted us. 
That's not good. I didn't think we'd be spotted at that distance. I thought we'd be safe. I could have stood next to the door, but I thought we were far enough away. Well, that is a big problem. That is a big problem. Thankfully... He's unconscious now. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Check this. 140 credits, and let's check through the door here. Incognita has detected Aha. an agent currently logged as MIA. They would be an incredible asset if you can get them back. Aha! Uh -huh. We have an extra agent here, so we may be okay if we can live through this mess, but it's gonna be a pain. Thankfully, it looks like this area is irrelevant to where our actual exit is. So while this is unfortunate, it's not the end of the world. This is definitely bad, though. This guard being here... He's gonna go back, so we're gonna have to run through here this turn. We still don't know where the actual escape is, though. All we have to do is get somebody to this console to get him out. This guard should never turn around, so that's not gonna be a problem. This is a problem. This is a problem. Okay, robot's back online. We can rehack it again. Let's quickly move you to here. Check through the door. Ah, oh, there's the exit. Thank goodness. Alright, well. All we have to do now is get the other agents out. Which is not necessarily an easy task. Mind you. But. At least we know where we have to be. So that's something. And it looks like we got most of the loot of this level. There's just this one Felix thing that we're probably not going to bust into, because it's going to cost more money than it gives us. So, let's end our turn here, but first I'm going to set you to ambush anybody who comes in so you don't get killed. And we should be okay. Guards are running around like crazy. One of them's probably going to bust in here and get punched in the head, but we'll see. Alright, open the cell doors. Welcome back, Dr. Zoo. He is a pretty interesting guy. He has the ability to do a local EMP that to disables things that are right next to him, but it costs one AP for him to do. That actually allows him to get into these safes, so he's going to get into this one for us without us having to worry about it, which is going to be awesome. That drone is still somewhere around, though, so we're going to need to hack it again next turn so that it doesn't cause us any problems. Lots of guards are running all over the place. Hopefully they don't decide to come in the exit door all at once, because if they do, then we are just dead. Let us break the firewall on this sucker so he doesn't notice us. Zoo, you're going to come right over here. You're out of AP, so you can't do it this turn. Oh, you can. I thought that said it cost you an AP. Or maybe owning it. Maybe owning the subdermal tools reduces his AP by one. Either way, now that we've hacked into it, we can just take the money out. So you don't have to worry about the Felix thing. So that's really nice. Now, he will be spotted if somebody opens that door. So hopefully they don't. Looking around. In this pay. Investigating. Um That's not good. Somehow they saw us without us actually having the chance to counterattack them. He just saw us hiding here. This location is hidden from the enemy, but somehow he still noticed it. So we're just going to close the door in his face. He's going to open it, though, if we do. Whatever. We're still on ambush ready, so if he comes in here, we'll knock him unconscious. We need to get our people moving, though, because they have a long way to go, and they're nowhere near close enough yet. Start the sprinting. That was not where I meant to move you, but it worked. Uh, there's nowhere good to put you now, either. Oh, I can put you there. Perfect. Okay. And we're gonna grab Zoo, who is also going to sprint. 
So he's gonna sprint right over here to the wall. He can't get into any more cover, can he? No, he can, that's cover, perfect. We're gonna take this robot and we're going to send it over into the corner again. This could end badly. He can't see us, so he has to come into the room. But we'll see what actually winds up happening. Investigating. Good night. And nobody saw us do that either, so that's perfect. He's got no money we can steal though, sadly. Okay. Let's keep moving, friends. We're almost there. We're almost there. Unfortunately, we have to cover the last section here, which is the nasty one. Oh boy. The problem is, we're also out of actions, so if things get really bad here... I don't know how this is going to play out. Let's end our turn. Actually, no. What we're going to have to do is we're going to drag this body away from the corner, but also going to close the door. Drag him over one tile. And drop him there. That'll mean that if we have to, we'll be able to attack with our gun, because we can move out into a tile where he's not standing. Let's end our turn, though. I think we're going to move you over one for now. And we'll end our turn. Don't come back this way. Thank you. That goes for you, too, you jerk. There's a lot of guards in this area right now. Drone's coming back online. Well, all we have to do is get out. We're so close. We may just shoot this guy and then sprint these guys out, so if we sprint, we might be able to get into this room. He's literally staring at the door. Okay, well this is a problem. This is a fine pickle in which we find ourselves. Alright, so the camera is on our side. We can open the door and shoot this guy. It will cost us one of our shots. What is he thinking? He's going back that way. What is this guy thinking? He's investigating this direction. What's this guy thinking? He's going this way. If we wait a turn, it looks like they're all going to go away. So that's actually okay. We'll take this opportunity then to get everybody close to the door so they'll be ready to run when they need to. And we'll count on the planning giving us the correct information. We're gonna sit on this guy for now, pin him there so it doesn't increase the timer, and we should be able to get out of here. This is getting pretty hectic, though. Zoo has no gear. I probably shouldn't have put him on the door, but whatever. According to our expectations, nobody should come anywhere near us. Investigating area. We should be able to get out of here. If I sprint you, Zoo, you can make it to the exit. But that's not the key thing right now key thing is to make sure we don't get caught here. Alright, nobody sees us. Zoo, sprint to the exit. International. Sprint into this room. Oh, we got it, I think. Close the door. Be ready with an ambush in case we need one. And we're out of here next turn. What a nasty mission that was. We're investigating the scene. Okay. Let's get out of here. What a nightmare that was. Goodbye, facility. We are out of here. I'm sure the agent who recovered is grateful to get out of that cell. I'm grateful to have more boots on the ground. Whew. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. We had a bit of money. I probably should have looked at those consoles on the way out. But you know what? I was just concerned with getting out alive at the time. Okay. 
Hello, monster. What are you trying to sell me? Predictive brawling. I already have this. Predictive brawling is nice. Getting that extra 6 AP after knocking somebody out is a good ability. We'll see if we'll buy it. I'm not sure yet. We can't buy it for Sharp, who's our main augments person, but anybody else can get another augment to support themselves. With 750 credits, there's a bunch of stuff we could buy. What is this even worth to sell? I'm taking a big risk selling to you That's right worth 300 now, so credits to sell. That might be it. worth doing. That'll bump us up to 1,000, so we could buy a bunch of nice things, perhaps. Hmm. Let's have, take a look at Mission Select, and then we'll see what's what. Oh, we're on to day two now. Somewhere. Monster will explain. You guys are good at covering your tracks. You've been hitting the corpse for years, but they've never been able to follow you home. I guess they were too distracted fighting each other to bother. Or maybe you were considered a useful pawn. Enemy of my enemy and all that. What we do, we do well. Well, he must have finally done something to get their undivided attention. They were able to pinpoint your HQ by linking their surveillance nets. That's unprecedented. Not for the usual bullshit political reasons, but because of the sheer computational power required. They must have an ungodly powerful network hidden out there somewhere. One that could host incognita. Right. If you put your AI on that network, it would have an incredible degree of access. Enough to wipe their security records and put Invisible back underground. <laughs> More like enough to force them underground. And who knows what else? As I said, it would be incredible. But that's jumping ahead. We have to find it first. They're still looking for you, but they're not hiding the fact anymore. Each time you do an infiltration, the global secnet lights up like a Christmas tree. Do that enough times, and we should be able to cross-reference the traffic and find the location of the root node. And then we can strike back. Well then, it's time for us to poke the bear. All right, well, at least we know what we're supposed to do now. We have a method of uh, counterattack. Ooh, look at all this happening. There's a nanofab vestibule, which is basically a place that has a really high-quality store, like how these ones have a really high-quality um, program shop. This is a cheap financial suite, which will allow us to get passcodes to get to a vault somewhere. Executive terminals will give us more missions. Security dispatch will give us nicer stuff. However, you'll notice everything is higher security now. There's threes showing up, which is potentially worrisome. Either way, I think we're going to have to end this episode here. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor, playing some Invisible Ink for you. If you've enjoyed today's episode, let me know what you thought about in the comments below. Thank you again very much for checking out the video series. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye Well, a rough start here. Everything is already pretty heavily guarded, so we're just going to have to deal with things. We have to do a lot of exploring in a hurry, though, so let's get moving. I think we're going to send you right over to here, International. There we go. You found more power for us. Oh, goody. Thank you, International. I greatly appreciate your contributions to our cause. We'll figure out what that demon is, and then we'll go from there. So, let us end the turn. Well, that could have been bad, but thankfully it wasn't. Why is this camera already activating? That's unfortunate. Thankfully we can hack it already. A validate brings an additional guard into the level. That's success, and we'll be able to get ourselves a third operative. Because that'll really help out our ability to do things on missions. Alright, recon the detention center and get out alive. Hello! Mm, yes. I like this. We have a security guard over here already. Let's get some power from this. Let's make sure we start the fusion so we generate more power. And what is this? This is a demon database. Alright. 
I'll spend two power to activate that hack so we can figure out what's in there. Let's grab you, Sharp, and see what's through this way. Hello. Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here and welcome back to Invisible Ink. We're back trying to make ourselves safe from the corporate overlords, and today's mission is going to involve heading towards the Plastech Detention Center to hopefully acquire ourselves a new operative. Let's head over there now and see what happens. Detention centers hold high-value human assets for interrogation and deprogramming. They may be intercepted invisible agents on site. So hopefully we'll be able to get that. If we're unlucky, rather than getting an agent, we'll just wind up getting somebody we have to rescue, some random corporate person who we can acquire for loot. But hopefully our mission will have a good that we can't currently get to. Hopefully there's good stuff over here we can take advantage of with Sharp, though. We're going to have to take a look around and see what's what, but I have a feeling we need to be over here. Warning. If we do, this is probably the path we'll be taking, but these two guards are going to be a problem. Either way, let's end our turn and see what happens. Recaptured. What did that mean? Oh! Did they try and take... Oh, look at that! Every turn, they take over our, our items. They took over that camera that we already had control of, and they just took over the demon database that we had control of. That's interesting. I don't like it, but it's interesting. Oh, hello! That's not a great thing for us to start with here. We could probably get around this uh, laser wall anyway, so I'm going to try and ignore it if I can. What's in here? Nothing so far. Oh, it's actually nothing. Okay, well that's unfortunate. Let's close the door behind us and go grab whatever's in the safe at the end of the turn. For now, though, we have this demon database already captured right. This guy's probably going to come back here. But for now, we're going to open the door. Come through the door. Close the door. Come to the next door and take a peek through. Hello there. It doesn't look like there's anything too fancy in here yet, though. Although there is a purchasing location. That might not be bad. Lots of locked doors is what I'm seeing. And lots of stuff on this side of the facility.